and um, a more beautiful place to live. I think it is extremely significant that Sri Chinmoy's artwork is here today because um, what finer, higher, and deeper place than the Louvre? It is truly an honor. The Louvre is like a temple to the muse. And I'm very grateful to Sri Chinmoy for creating these very inspiring works of art, which I feel very grateful and very humbled to be uh, the caretaker for. And uh, I am also very grateful to Padmasini, as I said, for our patron, her patronship to this exhibit and to Sri Chinmoy. And um, I shall return the floor to Padmasini. Mm -hmm. Thank you so much for coming. Dear friends, it is indeed a great honor and pleasure for me to say a few words at this important evening event. We're all here together at the Louvre, at this famous temple of art. It is indeed most fitting that Sri Chinmoy has come to share with us his multifaceted artistic and spiritual endeavors which are all directed to improve and inspire the lives of his fellow human beings. We are all well aware of the high quality of his artistic works, as we have just been able to witness in this beautiful exhibition of Jarna color paintings. This founding art, as Sri Lanka calls it, carries us to spheres of colors, light, and life. The same quality mark applies to his writings, in particular to numerous poems and his musical compositions and songs we are just about to hear tonight. The speciality of Sri Chinmoy artwork, and that is it has human touch, that all the artist's creation served an humanistic goal. Nowhere can this humanistic engagement be felt better than Sri Chinmoy humanitarian activities that have become a truly significant contribution to the interests of the people in the need. In our rapidly changing world, humanitarian activities have become, to use the expression of the great German philosopher Immanuel Kant, the categorical imperative. Today, we feel in the same way as the great French writer Voltaire when he said that all of us belong to one human family which inhabits the planet Earth. Sir Richard Moy strongly believed in this philosophy and what is very important is that Sir Richard Moy is not only man of the words but he is only man of actions. His voluntary humanitarian <coughs> engagement has reached already, as we have just heard it, over 150 nations and hundreds of tons of food, medicine, and education materials 
who have been distributed to those who are mostly in need today. Recently, a new program, such so just we have seen at Kids to Kids, has been established where children in wealthy countries collect educational materials and gifts for children in need in other countries and also get directly in touch with these children. May I conclude with the words that Sri Chinmoy music tonight will bring us harmony and feeling that all of us belong to one big human family. Thank you very much.
Thank mm-hmm. you.